Okay, so we have the sample in place, and if we start the movement up, it's going to start moving at a rate of half an inch per minute at a constant displacement rate of half an inch per minute. You can see the uh, sample actually bulging. Um, in other words, the diameter of the sample increases as the sample starts breaking. To the point that the uh, material fails. just completed the uh, testing, we can take a look at the sample and look at the results <coughs> on the screen as well. In this case, we're graphing here in the horizontal axis is a measure of the strain uh, that the sample went through. And in the vertical axis is the compressive stress that was applied to the sample. So as we force constant displacement into the sample, uh, we start picking up higher stresses up to a maximum value. At that point, you will see the material actually starting to fail by shear, and then we have a reduction in stresses because the material cannot actually take that level of stress and leading into a residual conditions where they are happening at about 20% of the During reflection. the test, the sample went from a total height of 5 inches to approximately 4 inches, so there was 20% reduction, and that reduction is, um, is referred to as the strain of the material.